Evening all. Hi there. Okay. Um, I think this is uh, streaming. For us to stream a five minute game on Chess Cube uh, against Roxini. So, okay. Uh, let's go. So, E4. Let's play Morris Smith Gambit. I've been watching the tennis today, Wimbledon tennis, the women's uh, uh, quarterfinal is really exciting. Really exciting. The first one was just uh, one sided, but the second match, fantastic. Let's play this F4. Okay. Okay, so I guess bishop c5 looks very tempting. I hasn't done that. I'll try and keep a lock on d5. <clears throat> knight f6 will be threatening knight e4. I think just try and mark d6 here. Maybe queen d3 there. Knight e4, queen d3. What would happen then? Okay, let's go with Queen D3. I'm H7 here. Um, okay, I'll take this. I guess he can take here. Take, take on d6. I haven't got much out of things there. Okay, he can take like that as well. I think knight f5 looks better. <laughs> I think, um, well, cheapo knight g5. <laughs> Just to create a weakness, there's knight f5, exchange of queens, does it really do anything? I can't see what else to do. Maybe, you know, knight f5, queen h3, there's h6. Uh, he's definitely got things under control here. Okay, I'll. Uh, Oh, I don't really want to take the queens off. Oh, let's put the queen here. Let's run crown the weakness then. I mean, he's got me possession eight because he's got such control over the center. So I, my knight can go back to see. The only, the only thing I've done is avoid the exchange of queens. So my knight can go back. And it's an awful position. This is a fantastic knight on f5. And that's g4, g5. Just try and. Use this G file. Let's check. Okay, Queen's coming in. All right, let's do this. In for a penny, in for a pound. Oh, I think he's dropped a piece. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I think I should offer a take back. I think I'll. I don't know. What does that do? Uh, e. Okay. I thought black was better anyway, up to that point. I will take back here. Okay. Oh. Okay, um, knight e4, bishop e. On bishop e3, there's like, there isn't, maybe that's possible. Is it possible I'm going to castle in this game? Um, um, 
Okay, so if I play rook c1, actually he's threatening knight b3 as well on this. So rook c1. There's two threats there, not just on c3 but on b3. Okay. So, um, I, it's not as bad as before, I think, for me, because uh, I've got this g5 stuff, which might do something potentially. Um, I think I'll take with the pawn, it locks the knight out a little bit. Now, if I don't know, e5, maybe f5. It seem to be better. Ah, oh, he's winning a pawn there, and this knight d2, I'll oh, lose the rook. Knight f2, queen b3. What about queen g2? Because then I'm lining up with the king. Queen b3, g5. There might be knight f6 after that. If taking, taking this knight f6 to win the queen with queen d5. Takes the rook. He could play f5. Okay, what's the, what's the, uh, oh, so the bishop, bishop. So if I play bishop somewhere, bishop d2, bishop d2, doesn't look too hot, bishop c5, bishop c5, maybe, well, I'll go with bishop c5. Is is that g5? Am I going to get mated if I play g5? Rook d8, g5. <clears throat> um, okay, am I going to get mated after g5? I hope not. So let's try that. I really, it's a really good idea to castle sometimes. <laughs> Actually, the rook can use maybe f1 here. Then rook, not f3, queen e4. Okay, it's knight f6. Are you good? Knight f6 here actually might be quite tasty when he's got queen g6 coming up. He's got queen g6, queen g6. Um. So, actually, this bishop is going to come to e6. Uh, if I play bishop f2, still looks grim. Okay, so I oh know bishop bishop f two. Can I actually play that without losing immediately? What about h four? I need to evict his queen. H four rook h three. That's one way to try and oh, that's going to get nasty. Ah, uh, I think I'm doomed here now. Queen g four. I'm doomed after that. There's knight f6, and oh, this is looking terrible. <laughs> hmm. I think I have to do a panic move. I have to. I'm gonna have to uh, sacrifice a piece to try and distract from his winning position. If I play like rook g1, try and use this pawn on f6. It's all a bit pathetic. Okay, he could actually play king f8. Oh, I should. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay. Well, at least uh, no, it's looking nasty. Uh, we've got bishop c5, rook f1, bishop c5 for queen b7. Just to hold on to that, that's queen d2 mating. Uh, queen e4, just trying to get rid of the queen before I get mated, it's queen d2. Uh, it's all pretty, it's all pretty grim, actually. I think I'm doomed here. I can try and win on time. <laughs> That's a bit of a shame. It's not right. So Queen actually Queen D two wins a rook as well. Could have just won a rook there. Uh could he actually take him on C one? <clears throat> oh this is just I'm just losing <laughs> even more material. What happened in this game? Disaster. I think it was that 
Actually, knight d4, king d3. Okay, I'll swallow that. <laughs> I need to get some material back. Uh, okay. Oh, he's going to be threatening knight d3 on d2. Oh, what am I just rookie one? Oh, that rook d1. Trying to evict. What about rook h? Yeah, for rook h6. Rook, rook h8. Oh, I can get rid of. This is good. Let's get rid of that pawn. That pawn on my side. Play rook d5 there. Is that h4, h5? Not yet. Um. Oh, win another pawn. Doesn't look too poisoned. I can't can I get this rook out of here. Protect that h6. F6. Uh, what about b6? Is that any good? Okay. It's looking looking okay. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh, that was a close. That was awful. That was awful. A rematch then. That was awful. Okay, let's see. Can I actually castle in this game? That'd be a nice move to play. King's engine. So let's see, um, Bishop E2 is the most common, classical, uh huh, okay I'll play this B5 plan I think, A6 and B5, Okay, this. <clears throat> By the way, I've been trying to cut down on uh, Diet Coke. I've just, uh, since about two weeks ago, I just, I think I was suffering some adverse effects of too much Diet Coke. To, uh, and I've been trying to cut down the caffeine generally. Um, okay. Actually, you know, E5 and E6 looks. Looks pretty dangerous. Uh, that queen is just making that look more effective. Okay, so I'll stop that. But probably the default is a bit of a wreck. And, well, there might be a plan here queen c7. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, get a more central pawn or to sack a pawn with b4. That looks uh, as bad as anything. I think mean, taking on c4 looks terrible as well, but I suppose it doesn't lose a pawn, so maybe that should be favoured. Just this pawn is a major liability. f7 is a major liability. Hmm. Okay, can I actually kick the queen here? Right, just away from the f7s. I thought knight g5 was. I can get this knight h5 to f4 in. Um, bishop e7 and f7 is still kind of dangerous. But maybe I've got time for rookie 8 there. 
Oh, did I mention the Twitch TV? I, I didn't mention the stream thing. Okay, maybe I should have. Okay. Um, all right, so... My, I mean, I've got this E5 square here. Might as well try and use that. Oh, I can just take your hair. Oh, this looks juicy. There's a queen hair, queen hair. There's no knight g2 there. I think queen a, or queen e5 even simpler. Just going to g5. Oh, that's the end of the game. Okay. Oh well, that was that was slightly more um, better for me than the first one. Okay, are we okay? We're gonna have to play another game. Can I try and play the Morris Smith with Castling as an innovation? Maybe. Oh, these are not good games. These are not good games. Uh, not the first one for me anyway. I'm gonna try and just play Knight F3. Not F4. It does look not very solid. In fact, I I saw on the tennis uh, one of the players saying to playing more solidly. Uh, it was amazing. T tennis is like does seem like a sh shares a lot of terms with chess. Uh, when one of the players was saying that, I was amazed. Uh, I, I guess it's a pretty common thing. Uh, okay, so in in uh, okay, what's going? On? I'm just losing this e5. If I lose e5, I get bishop h6 in or something. So I'm going to lose e5, but he's on the bishop here. So I've actually just lost the center pawn for nothing. Okay. There's an exchange sack. If I want to make it as though this was a sacrifice, I can I can play for bishop h6 here. That maybe maybe there's something on um, on f7 later. Okay, let's stop the castling privilege. So actually, queen c7 is double attacking. Actually, what? Oh, there's queen d5 there. Hang on. I had queen d5. Hang on. That was attacking e5 and f7. Wow. I <laughs> just queen d5. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> yes. Ah. Oh, okay. I want to avoid this um, loss of the c4 bishop. Here to queen c7. I've st I think I've still got something here. Not as good as before. But uh, where does the bishop move? Right, that's queen, uh, queen b3, because I can try and surround this bishop with g3. If he has to take time for e6, I'll play g3. Okay, I munch the bishop. Then is it, there's a queen g3, there's a knight e4, there's no queen f3 there. There's no queen h3, I think this knight e4 business. I think I just want to stop queen... F3, there's Queen H4. Hang on, there's Queen H4. So there's Bishop's liability. It's Bishop G7, trying to tuck the king. My king gonna go for a walk over here. I have to get the bishop not to be uh, loose here. Um, king going for a walk. Okay, I could end up losing the rook or something. Uh, okay. It's bishop d4 here, trying to sort of... I think the bishop is not being lost immediately, I would hope. I can get it back to f2. I don't mind losing a rook for some reason. It does, doesn't look right to... Use the queen like that. Maybe there's knight, you know, knight e4 to f6. Okay, 
Ah, okay, okay. Shielding the king. Ah, okay. Now knight b5, which may six. Knight c7 check. Oh, hang on, there's queen g5. I'll go with that anyway. I want to get into this d6. Um, bishop b7, knight d6. Uh, well, there's knight c7 here. Actually, is anything stronger? Because there's this. That looks as though that might be mating, actually. Or queen b4. Because the bishop's covering g7. Yeah, it's a bit of a mating net. Alright, should we have one more just for uh, a longer video? Or <laughs> I don't know, I haven't played for a while, so four, four for the price of one. What about um, Nimza Engine? A bit of variety. I'll keep the create this tension in the center okay so what problem could this set I uh, guess it's it looks theoretical enough uh, I think white could just we could go into an isolated queen's pawn scenario if bishop d3. I could take here, take there. Okay, I'll take here. Okay, so um, I think. I've got um, I could play a routine rookie eight, but what does it actually do? I um, C4 potentially is very bad, releasing the tension. On the other hand, I don't know. Um, okay, I'll, I'll go for it. I'll go for it. Potentially very bad. Okay. Can I just make sure this bishop's not coming to this diagonal? In fact, this rook kind of lift stuff might be interesting. Uh, can I play f5 or bishop f5? Alright, if I just. Uh, what about knight a5? Let's try this is battle of the b3 square. If I can take and then knight b3. Uh, that kind of blocks things up for white. Maybe bishop bishop e4 try and get rid of this bishop here. Oh that's bishop d1, that's gonna be a pain. That's queen g5. Okay. Oh exchange sack. Okay, that looks a bit um a bit controversial. So, if I played queen d5 here, there's f3, and then what? Uh, if I just get the rook out of trouble, if I just play rook e8, the, the rooks are protecting each other. Okay, so if I just, let's see if that looks good. These pawns are potentially uh, a menace, no? Uh, so I don't have to. Um, make sure I get these pawns off. If I'm, if I'm on that um, e4, okay, that looks that looks like trouble for him. With tempo attacking bishop. Uh, 
Okay, so what's going on here? Um, that looks like trouble for white. If I just take one e4 here. I want to give my king some air. Maybe. Or oh, bishops hanging. I gotta give my king some air. Okay. Uh are we are we playing again? Okay, let's play again. Five for the price of one. Um this Trumpowski, Trump, Trumpowski, is a favourite of the, as a British Grandmaster Julian Hodgson, who won the British Championship many times with it. Uh, I think doubling pawns straight away might be interesting. See, d5 is slightly looser than usual. like um, my d5 pressure is is uh, good here in fact I could encourage this would backfire on f7 potentially okay I mean maybe oh, I don't want to draw I think I'll castle In fact, why didn't I just take the? Uh... <laughs> why didn't I just take the bishop? <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Oh dear, oh dear. The bishop was hanging. <laughs> oh well. Oh dear. Makes the game more interesting. So uh, I'll put the queen on this dark square diagonal. It looks as though my king's up for a slaughter here on the c file potentially. So it's not too clever so far. Maybe bishop d3, king d2, then rook b1 to try and use this. B file. Uh, so I think King D two Rook B one uh, looks good in circumstance for some reason. Yeah, yeah, my light squares are going to be weakened. Okay. I don't want my king recapturing either. So I'll do this. Maybe f3 and e4. f3 and e4. Okay, what's that doing? Um, this e3 could be a problem. Okay, I'll go on e4. If that's not losing tactically, my king he hasn't got queen on dark squares yet. So okay, knight uh, c2, knight e3 next.
<clears throat> Whoa, I'm in big trouble now again. This looks like big trouble. So much for the uh, D5 square, it's irrelevant now. So my center might be crumbling or maybe it's important not to be uh, too pessimistic here. Actually, the knight covers at least g4 here, so it's not all miserable. If this knight moves, no, I don't know, actually. Ah, okay, that looks pretty dangerous um, to expose my king. Is e5 actually possible? What about rook f1? He takes it, blocks in his bishop. Bishop c4. That might be... This might be a lesser evil strategy to sort of put some pressure on f7. And I hope there's no exchange tag or anything. Ah, that's a bit of a pain. Okay. Okay, not so hot. Yeah, this is not looking too hot. Uh, I think I'm going to have to take that. This is falling to bits. Whoa. That's kicking free. Queen G5, rook F4. Losing more material. Potentially. Um, rook F4, actually. Maybe e3 check um, it looks pretty miserable whatever I do here queen e7 queen g queen a, I think oh no I lose a2 uh, so this is a very miserable position again I've managed to get h4 <laughs> oh no 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 let's just do something ah uh, Anything uh, within reason. F two. Uh, oh, I'm thinking I'm getting hacked here because E three check looks strong. <laughs> uh, I'll try and evacuate with my king to G one if he doesn't play E three. We plays E three. What about Rook F three? Rook F three. Uh, at least protects g2 on the bright side. Maybe even king f1 looks cozier than before. Uh, and that protects g2 as well. As b5 might be a target to queen b2, but it was always c3. Ah, uh, okay. This is not looking good still. Um, oh! King, if I can get King G1 in, it's better than before. King G1. Is it trying to trap my rook? Um, go for his B5 pawn one day. Oh! I can't play Queen B5 without losing an exchange. Well, I'm going to win this exchange. Lose the rook, take on G2. I'm um, down on material here. It's kings. I'll take on e8 first. That protects the rook on h5. Oh, h4 is e2. Ah, oh, what's happened? Interesting. Um, actually, bishop e2 just to stop rook g2. Okay. I don't think that's. No problem. Okay, uh, that was awful. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I think uh, um, I think that's enough. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.